In this Pro Kitchen 4.1 video demo, we're going to take a look at the new design file name. We're going to take a look at the new tutorials button. We're going to take a look at overriding an existing file when starting Pro Kitchen. And we're going to take a look at the new feature uh, BOM report with no pricing. BOM, that's Bill of Materials. So we'll get started here by taking a look at our new design name. Um, it's been requested that uh, the Windows, or the Pro Kitchen window rather, has the design name showing in it. So we've added the design name. You can see it right here. In this case, my design name is demo underscore 4.1 underscore 2. Um, so this will be easy for those of you who have, are, have forgotten what you're working on. You can now look up and see where you're at. Um, also, we've added it to our layouts. So we'll come in here and we'll do view one, elevation one in our print preview. Here you go, design demo underscore 4.1 underscore 2. If we scroll down, our layout, same thing, file path name. That'll make it much easier for those of you with messy desks to uh, locate files and put them in the right folders anyways. Because I know that was an issue that I had when I was a kitchen designer. Okay. Now say you're designing along. There's something you want to do. You've done it before. Can't remember how to do it. You know it's in a video tutorial somewhere. But now you have to open your email. You have to scroll through till you find your video tutorials. Either that or you have to log on to the internet, jump onto our website, try to remember which page the tutorials are on. Well, we've got it much easier now. We've got a new icon in our top toolbar. Looks like a little uh, piece of film. If we click on that, it takes you straight to the website, takes you straight to the tutorials page, and you can simply scroll down and watch your tutorial. that should make it a lot quicker and easier access to the tutorials. Next thing we want to take a look at is we want to take a look at our bill of materials report with no pricing. So if you recall when we updated to 4.0 version we added an icon right between these two icons that was an items list icon. Well we've taken that out. We've taken that out and we've added it to our bill of materials. So if we click on our bill of materials, you'll notice we have two new icons here. If we pause over an icon, it gives us a little description. BOM report no pricing and a regular BOM report. So this one would have pricing. If we click on one of these, we'll pull up the report and show you exactly what they look like. So we'll start with the pricing report. This is the one everybody's familiar with. And so here's our report with, well, no pricing. Would actually have pricing if I had my global spec set up, but I don't have my global spec set up yet. So the pricing would be here, but right now it's showing 000. Now we'll open our other one and take a look. Okay, here we are, bill of materials, no pricing. This will make it very easy and convenient for you to hand this out if you need, if the customer needs a list of cabinets um, if your installer needs a list of cabinets I don't know if your shipping guy needs a list of cabinets so he knows what's coming um, this will be nice and easy to give out to whoever may need it without actually showing the pricing of everything and so again those two buttons are located under the bill of materials and now the last thing we want to take a look at here in this little tutorial is overriding an existing file when starting Pro Kitchen. So we're going to open a new design here. And yeah, we better save it. And what this is going to allow you to do is going to allow you to well obviously override an existing file. So in this case uh, you see I got a bunch of day files in here. So I'm just going to take my main day file and for instance instead of starting another one 
I can just go back and overwrite an old one. So that's what I'm going to do here. I mean, previously you'd have to go in, you'd have to delete the file, and then create a new file with this name. We're going to hit save. Now it shows up here in my file path. Now when I click OK, we get a little warning. File with this name already exists. Do you want to overwrite it? So in this case, yes. But this is a great double check to make sure that you don't overwrite something that you want to keep. So we'll click yes. Now I've got the files now open. There's nothing in it. So I'll add my wall. And here we go. We're ready to start my new file. So hopefully there's been some features in here that you guys will find useful as you're designing. I think the video tutorials button is a great button to add in here. Uh, make it really easy for you guys to access um, the video tutorials, you know, when you need it without having to, you know, go back and find where they're at or look them up on the internet. Now they're just one click away. Um, easy access, great, great for you guys to be able to use. So this has been the Pro Kitchen 4.1. Uh, design name, video tutorials, uh, bill of material report, and overriding existing file path uh, design uh, video demo. <laughs> Thank you for watching.